scumbags, it's the cops! And this is our crime scene! I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe with the District Police Force. Sir, I think this might be important. It appears to be some kind of receipt. My, uh... Yeah, ringing any bells, pal? Uh, no. Uh, sir? That's my name. Huh? What's your name? Poor thing. Case closed! <sighs> Let's talk about this down at the station. That's right! And you're uh, coming with us too, kid! Ramen. Huh? You're, uh... I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. That's some weird name you got there. And Tick Gumshoe's not totally ridiculous at all. Don't know if I've ever seen a guy with such a girly cell phone. Uh, uh, yep. I guess you are pretty girly, huh, Cupcake? Uh, oh, you have any breakthroughs in the case yet? Ha! Huh. Nice try, Sport, but I ain't sharing info with a lawyer. Well, there's one thing I'm sure about. You're gonna lose big. Not a snowball's chance, Hot Rod. What? She's toast. Edgeworth's on the case. Mr. Convictor himself. My ha! That name making you sweat, Snowball? So go home and cry into your pillow, sweetheart. By the way, Detective, had any luck with the witness from last night? You must be talking about Miss April May. When I told you I ain't sharing info, I meant it. Oh. Ha! You have got to be kidding me, pub. She is not leaving that room until the whole trial is over. Her lips are tighter than a fat guy's waistband. <laughs> if you would, state your name and profession. Sir! I'm Homicide Detective Dick Gumshoe! Senior Detective in the Homicide Squad of the District Police Force. I shouldn't need to remind you, Detective, but please keep your testimony concise and factual. Oh, uh, of course, Your Majesty! First, I'd like details on the crime itself. I brought a visual of the office floor plan to explain. The body was found slumped by the window. Blunt force trauma to the head. Yes, sir. It was found next to the victim. I had evidence that named her as the attacker. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. She left a message written in blood that refers to her very own sister. Forensic tests show the blood of the note matches that of the victim. So I was right to make the arrest. Yeah, that's exactly what Objection. happened. Objection! Uh -huh. And what makes you so sure about that, kid? It's straight from the autopsy report which states that the victim died instantly from blunt force trauma. That's true. And after that happened, she used her last ounce of strength to write down the killer's name. So you believe that she died instantly? Oh. Uh, I guess. How could she do that if she's dead? I don't know. I mean, it is kind of weird. Uh, well, that wasn't my fault. Ma'am, what did you say? That stupid call was recorded. Right? <laughs> Free scumbag, it's the cop! Detective, I present the man who murdered the attorney Mia Faye. It was this guy? I can't believe it! You shouldn't believe it because it's a total lie! Oh, please save all of the it wasn't me malarkey for the ride down to the station. But I'm the detective here, sir. Ended up being arrested, that thing! Oh, please, I saw one just like it at the corner store. Well, look here, young buck, the badge I'm wearing is real and it says you might need to give you a good hard spanking for trying to pull- Enough with all the racket! <laughs> What are the two of you doing here? No! Both of you are wrong! For crying out loud, my name's Detective Dick Gumshoe! So you're gonna try to defend Will Powers in his murder trial? That's right! I'm well, sorry to break it to you, but that guy's guiltier than the cat who ate the dang canary! Take a look at this, pal. Before the murder, everybody at the studios that day was over here, and the victim was found all the way over here. So whoever jacked Hammer had to go through this part of the lot right next to the security station. And the only one that passed this way was Will Powers. Nobody sneaks by me! Uh, ah! uh, that kid there? You're supposed to be a cop, right? Go! You talking to me? <laughs> what? Back in my day, a man protected a lady! Oh, I'm gonna be feeling that one for the rest of the week. So, uh, Detective, we're gonna need to interview everyone here. Powers told us he was taking a nap inside his dressing room. Someone might have seen him there. Well, feel free to poke around as much as you want. 
We, the prosecution team, have thoroughly investigated everyone and everything here. You may have won your last trial, but that was just a fluke. This is a totally different case. Edgeworth will show you why he's the biggest dog in law enforcement. He's gonna eat your lunch, brother. Mr. Edgeworth, you may proceed with your opening statement. The prosecution will prove that on May 9th, Will Powers murdered fellow actor Jack Hammer at Global Studios. Allow me to present the facts of the case. On the day of the murder, the only people at the studio were Powers, Hammer, and the production staff. At noon, they all gathered in this area here. Autopsy has the time of death at approximately 2.30 p.m. The security guard clearly saw the defendant heading to the crime scene before that time. And she maintains that no other person passed by the station until the body was found at 5 p.m. Scruffy McTrenchcoat, show him the picture! My name is Gumshoe! You weren't even close, old hag! Please share this with the court, detective. Right. There's a security camera installed here. It has a sensor that detects anyone crossing the gate and takes a picture. Oh, well, I suppose it could be him. Duct tape? I taped that thing up real good! And during that incident is when the defendant injured his left ankle. Is that correct? The samurai spear weighs about 35 pounds. A grade schooler would have a pretty hard time picking it up like a weapon. Are you really accusing an innocent- See? The picture was completely unrelated, so that's why I decided to delete it. The that is all. Court is hereby adjourned. Objection! Wait just a second, gal. Detective Gumfoot? Miss D. Vasquez, I'm here to deliver your summons for Powers trial tomorrow. But what exactly is going on here? Question boy? What? Struggle. <sighs> that is true. The weapon used in the crime was pretty dang heavy. I don't see it happen. If you don't have that, then you can leave. I feel like this case changed something inside me forever. No? Has anybody found an actual lead on the case yet? <laughs> Trials tomorrow! We gotta find something that leads us to the bad guy! Now! Well, we already have Edgeworth in- Can it, you! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hello, Detective Gummy. It's about time you showed up! Let me show you around the crime scene a little bit since you're investigating for the defense and all. Actually, we're kind of- Now! Walk with me! I'm glad you're here. This case has been like lawyer repellent. No one would take it on. Nobody will take it? I wonder why. Mr. Edgeworth is a celebrity, pal. You either win a case like this or flush your career down the toilet. Exactly how solid is the case against him? The police at large are totally convinced that he's our murderer. No one's putting their heart into the investigation. Oh, seriously? Well, I guess having you on his side is better than nobody. <laughs> Ain't that right, Bob? The murder took place last night just after midnight. Two men were out in a boat on the water. One of them shot the other dead at close range. Police showed up five minutes after the shot was heard and arrested Edgeworth, who was found already at the scene. How did the police get here so fast? Because somebody reported the incident immediately after they saw what had happened. So are you telling me that there was actually an eyewitness to the murder? Someone really saw Edgeworth shoot the other guy? You know, I hate to be a tease, but that's confidential. That's all I can say. You're the only hope he's got of shaking off this charge. What? He wouldn't let you! He said he didn't want us getting involved in the case. It sounded kind of threatening if you ask me. Apparently, he doesn't think very highly of my skills as a defense attorney. I can't believe that crap! Yeah. I mean... You should have heard him after the Steel Samurai case. He kept complimenting you. I didn't even know he was capable of that. He said nice things about me? You gotta figure out a way to change his mind and let you take the case. You don't just wear that attorney's badge because you like the way it looks, right? You earned it! Here's the autopsy. The victim died instantly from a shot fired at point-blank range. Thank you, sir. We haven't been able to get a positive ID in the body yet, though. You will now describe the incident. Yes, sir! The crime took place at Gordon Lake. At 12.10 a.m., our witness heard a shot ring out from the water. 
When she looked out, she saw two men in a small boat. Immediately after, another shot rang out, and one of the men fell into the water. The lake was covered in a thick blanket of fog that night, That's and... enough! Huh? You will now tell the court the details of the arrest. Um, it's my job to move things along. The police were called just a little bit after 12.30 a.m. The officers arrived at the scene within five minutes and immediately apprehended Mr. Edgeworth, who was nearby. Was a weapon discovered at this time? Yes, sir. Uh, the pistol used in the shooting. Were there not? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. To Mr. Miles Edgeworth. They matched his right hand perfectly. The next morning, a gunshot victim's body was found in the lake. Estimated time of death was around 12 a.m. Killed by a single shot to the heart. It was instantaneous. I present the bullet found inside the body. Was this bullet fired from the very same pistol that your men recovered from the crime scene? Yes. The ballistic markings are an exact match. One moment, please. Yeah? What? Uh, go on! Just what are ballistic markings again? <laughs> the victim is Robert Hammond, an attorney. Mr. Edgeworth has revealed that Mr. Hammond had summoned him to the lake that night. To what end? We asked him about that, sir, but he refused to give an answer. Answer. Uh. So, uh, what have you got going on here, detective? Glad to see you got out, missy. Oh, man, it feels so good to be out. I kind of can't believe they really put me in jail for contempt of court over that. Ha! <laughs> that damn trial deserves all the contempt it can get, in my opinion. Just doing my part! I'm so glad we see eye to eye! Listen, I get it, but please don't do that again. You know, Edgeworth bailed you out. He's a real class act. What? Edgeworth paid my bail? I'm sure things would have gone a whole lot differently. But no, I'm too weak. Hey, we can't just stand around feeling sorry for ourselves. Not while Edgeworth is still trembling in fear and crying his eyes out back at the jailhouse. You're right, because now we might be the only ones who can help him dry his tears. Are we talking about the same Edgeworth here? So, what's with that? Ah, it's one of those metal detector thingies. I was hoping it would help me detect some new clues out here. But no luck so far. Hey, Detective, if you don't mind, can I please, oh, please try it out? Sure. Maybe it'll actually work for you. Yay! <laughs> well, let me know if anything turns up for you guys. We certainly will. Let's see. Hey, you're here. Hello, Detective. How's the investigation going? It's going nowhere fast, pal. I just got out of a briefing, and it seems like everybody's more convinced that Edgeworth's the killer. And... We found a possible motive. Didn't... As a matter of fact, it is. It was a pretty big deal. You probably know how it relates to this case, don't you? That's the gist of it. My bosses think this thing's about revenge. To get payback for what happened to his father. Fine. Are you kidding? You're his defense lawyer and now you think he's guilty too? No, that's not it. I just know that that case most likely holds the key to this one. <sighs> okay, I'll see if I can go grab those files. <sighs> I got bad news, guy. We're missing lots of important stuff related to that case. Yeah, sorry, but Von Karma came and picked it up a little while ago. <laughs> we still have copies of the paperwork, but all of the evidence is gone. That'll be enough. You can repay me by walking into court tomorrow and winning that trial! You hear? No matter what you gotta do! We caught him with his bags packed trying to get the hell out of Dodd. We're gonna search his little boat rental shack. You're more than welcome to join us. So I guess according to your theory, the old lawyer guy didn't actually get ventilated on the boat in the water that night. Yes, and I'd be willing to bet this is where it really happened. Let's take a look inside. This place is a lot creepier when you think about someone getting killed in here. Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> it's that then. When we caught him, he had his buddy here squawking away on his shoulder. Not what I'd call inconspicuous. Sure made nabbing him a lot easier. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there are any clues here, does it? No, the only thing that feels warm is this heated table. Oh, and it feels so warm. Is it 
weird that all those pictures there are of saltwater fish? We're on a lake after all. I doubt it's a lead, but maybe you're on to something. Hey, maybe we should try to open it. Hmm, I'll be honest with you. I'm not really a safe cracker or anything. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can get it open. Yeah? How? Ah! Whoa, for real? For real. Some kind of letter. It would be great if there were a name or address on the thing. Mm. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This will be your last chance. Now's the time to finally get even with the two men that ruined your life. Make them pay for everything that they did to you. It's all spelled out here. A detailed plan to murder Robert Hammond and make it look like Miles Edgeworth did it. It's the break we've been looking for. I'm gonna go back and see what I can find out about the old man. That was the only way I could stave off the verdict. Man, that is so risky. Well, it doesn't surprise me at all. That is like classic edgy. I beg to differ. We don't have much time. Detective Gumshoe? Nope! I ain't hearing nothing! If the evidence has been pulled, then we'll just have to go and get it. Yes. You've convinced me of my... But you know you're like on trial and everything, so I don't think you can just skip out whenever you want. They won't like that. I'll be back in ten minutes. That's too long. The recess is only five. There's no time. Then we're just gonna have to get creative. Huh? I never thought that you killed anybody! Not for one lousy second! What case was that? Yeah, me too. All right, guys, break it up, okay? Out here gonna have one hell of a celebration party tonight! Ain't that right? Yeah! Let's have a party! <laughs> Calm down, everybody! It's the cops! You called, right? Wait, right? You're involved again? I was out here in official business, so they sent me over to handle this! It's like he's the only detective in the world. Detective Dick Gumshoe, here to serve. Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya. Is she okay? The spirit severing technique was successful, and Mystic Maya has returned to the earthly plane once again. You all were present when the crime took place. There anybody else? Yes, sir. My sweet daughter Pearl was here as well, and there was a guest. She was staying in the annex side room at the time of the murder. The annex? Would that be at the back of the building? Law boy, go grab him, why don't you? Oh, you were over in that room the whole time and you didn't hear anything unusual? Not a peep. I wasn't feeling so hot after lunch, so I decided to take a nap. And I guess I slept right through everything. She was asleep. It was Detective Jim Shoe, right? Would you please allow me to show you to the crime scene? That's not a bad idea. Oh, and the name is Dick Gumshoe, by the way. Let's... Yes, ma'am, Roger that! Listen! I'll have to question everyone in this room when I get back, so nobody leave, okay? Are we clear? Quit dawdling! Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Hello, Gumshoe. Oh, please don't hate me, buddy! I had to arrest her! It's my job! I know that. And it's- Not gonna sugarcoat it. You've got a tough road ahead of you. Von Karma's gonna be prosecuting this case. That's impossible. Von Karma? But he's in jail for murder right now. Yeah, he is, but it's another Von Karma. Uh, his kid who followed in his footsteps became a prosecutor young and hasn't lost a case yet. No joke. They're a true prodigy. Again, Maya faces... Wham! My name is Detective Dick Gumshoe, and I'm a detective with a district... Hey, now! All I was doing was trying to answer the dang question, lady. <laughs> what? Yep, sure thing. I'd like to call everyone's attention to this map. The victim, Turner Gray, was killed inside the so-called channeling chamber, a room without windows and a single door which was locked at the time. When the murder was committed, the only people inside of that room were the victim and the defendant. Well, they were channeling a spirit, Your Honor. Order! Continue your testimony, Detective. Sir! Shortly after they entered, witnesses heard gunshots coming from inside. The door was still locked, so they broke it down and rushed in. Inside, they found Dr. Gray lying dead on the floor. I... Yes, but first he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was severe, but I guess it wasn't killing him fast enough for the murderer. 
So they used a pistol to finish the job right away. And just it was the victims. He bought it on the black market for self-defense, ironically. Then it actually was real. Correct. Probably didn't put up much of a fight due to the stab wound. A single shot to the head, fired by that pistol at point-blank range. Forensics discovered a gunpowder burn on the doctor's right temple. Gunpowder burn, you say? You shoot anything at that range, it's gonna leave a burn. You can see the pattern the heat from the explosion leaves around the bullet hole. Yes, your honor. And we found the defendant's fingerprints on both murder weapons. You there! Yes, ma'am! The time has arrived to nail the coffin shut. I would like for you to present the piece of evidence that fully incriminates Maya Faye. What evidence is she talking about? Let me show you this costume the defendant wore during the ritual. As you can see, the thing is a mess, completely covered in blood. Crime Lab has determined that it's the victim's blood, spattered out all over her at the time he was fighting for his life. Huh? Say what? At some point during the crime. Well, I thought you might have. Since they shot, what that proves is that this murder was not merely a one-sided act of violence. Uh -huh. Detective Gumshoe, tell the court what transpired that day, and don't leave out any new information. Yes! I'll do my best, ma'am. During the channeling, the defendant stabbed the victim in the chest. Of course, he used the last ounce of strength in him to fight back. During the struggle, the victim whipped out his pistol. And although he was at very close range, somehow he missed. The defendant took that chance to grab the gun and end it all right there. Hmm. That scenario does make sense to me. Of course it does. It seems the defendant's role in the murder has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. And therefore... Correct? That's what I assume happened, at least. But, sir, if that is the case, aren't we still missing something? What are you getting at? While testifying about the victim's gunshot wound, you mentioned the gunpowder burn on his temple, and that one could ascertain the range... <laughs> order! Order in this court! The client, just as we were back... You must have the wrong idea, small fry. Don't worry, everything is okay. I'm just going to go into town for a little while with this nice policeman, Pearl. If you're going, please let me come with you. No. Wait. Yeah, Roger that. Ling has brought me my str Detective Jim Shoe. Hmm. Hello, Detective. Ah, let me guess. You're here because. Detective, we are going to be defending Max Galactica. That's what I was about to guess. Hey, Detective. What do you know about the case? Sometimes it seems like you're the only defense lawyer in the world or something. I sort of feel the very same way about you and detectives. It happened last night a little after 10 o'clock, but he wasn't found till this morning. The official cause of death is blunt force trauma to the head. What's the deal with this wooden box? We're trying to figure that out now. All we know is it was heavy and locked. Also, we found this at the crime scene. Poof, here it is. <laughs> Yep, a signature piece sitting here like a gift from the evidence gods. Now you can watch while I pull a guilty verdict out of this thing. That doesn't mean he's the killer. Of course, that's not the only proof we have. Uh, this is strange. I think we all know of one individual who could pull off that kind of trick. Right? The star of the show and world-class magician, Mr. Max Galactica. You've probably seen it yourself. I mean, the guy can actually fly. Uh, you dig? Uh, Has everyone baffled? It happened on the night of December 6th, after a very nasty and unusually cold day had left the ground covered in snow. The troupe had a rehearsal that ended around 10 p.m. The ringmaster, Russell Berry, went to his office but left shortly. For some reason, he headed to the scene of the crime. And at 10.15, he was found deceased, slumped over a large wooden box. Blunt force trauma strong enough to shatter vertebrae did him in. The victim's footprints were found at the crime scene along with a hat which belongs to the defendant. Well, not exactly, but we believe it was a flat, heavy object. As you can see, it's kind of big and made of wood. Inside, the only thing was a small container of pepper. Short answer is no. No idea. Hey guys, it's the cops. No need to make a big deal about it, pal. By the way, I was asked to give you a message. 
<clears throat> the verdict will be decided at the very last second. That's all I got. Later, bud! Ma'am! Built this myself. An exact scale model of the crime scene that will show the culprit- Hold it! No but I stayed up the entire night putting this model together! Acro, you claim you saw the defendant outside your window on the night of the murder? 